What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Eastside RC. As you guys can see, I got the ALX's rear end filleted and we're gonna be taking the transmission out and we're gonna find out what the diff looks like inside because it turns pretty easy for a one million weight. <laughs> I mean, there is some resistance still feeling like this, but one million weight should not move that easy. So, yeah, that's not good. But one thing I wanna note, when, take, when you build your own cars and you create your own vehicles, everything just comes apart. So nice and easy. Made in Italy, son. If you have a stubborn screw that's near the bearing, and you don't want to use the heat gun and melt the seal and heat up, overheat the bearing, and you don't want to use a torch because you, maybe you got, you got gas in the tank, just throw a soldering iron up into it. Yep, leave it in there for a couple minutes, 60 seconds maybe. This is a 40 watt soldering iron. It popped the other screw loose after about maybe a minute and a half. So, yeah. Just leave her on there like so. I've had it on there now for maybe, maybe 60 seconds. We're gonna try it. All right. Made in Italy, son. Now we're going to carefully remove the Taylor gem of the transmission as not to mar the beautiful ALX engine. However, we bumped the pipe. Bump the pipe, son! That's all right. It didn't hurt a thing. We got her. She's been harvested. All right, guys, check it out. I've got the diff, I mean, the transmission broken apart, got the diff out. Um, you know, you should not be able to move one million like this. Look at that. I mean, it basically turned one million into like, <laughs> feels like 10,000 weight. All right, y'all, the moment of truth. These cups are so big, the gear won't even come off. <laughs> Let's see what this thing looks like inside. Oh, just, wow, look at the fluid. Nothing wrong with the gears, but my goodness, look at that mess, would you? Jeez, ugh, just gooey. No more diffs in serious, with serious power, son. And here we are. These are the parts that are gonna fix this issue. What issue was I having? Diffing out. What's diffing out? Diffing out is simply, here's your diff inside the car. You're in grass, you hammer the gas. This tire is hooking up, this tire is spinning. You're getting diffing out, okay? That's what trashes the fluid. In a car that doesn't have a stock engine that's not making that much power, that's not really a big deal. But for an ALX engine and a Taylor engine, man, I don't like diffs. I think you're better off with a locker because you're going to deliver equal power to the ground, all right? So, especially if you're a grass runner. And it, those guys that say, oh man, it's not going to turn. It is going to turn, but it's going to require a different kind of driving style. It's not going to turn as easy. A diff does allow it to turn because you got that diff action, you know. This, you do not. So, but you'll learn how to do it. Look at this nice hex design, would you? That's not going to break. <laughs> it is tight, okay. What holds this cup from falling out is a five millimeter pin held in with a little grub screw. Excellent design on Mike's behalf. This is a one-piece design rather than a two-piece design. See there? This is a machine cup with a pressed sleeve. Fine. This is all one piece. Yes, super nice. I mean, 
it's just quality and it's this hex locker you just you can't go wrong all right it's super super beefy look how many sides you get there six points of grabbing gripping for the ripping all right <laughs> y'all have a blessed one i'll be sure to catch you on the next one east side rc is out